Hey Dreamers, this is Jack the Place, and today we're going to continue with the community event Santa Secret. It's from uh, Yada, uh, that's the, um, the, uh, the one who made this event. And I got like a person, and as you can see, there is no name on it. I did it on purpose, so you still have to guess who this is. Um... If you do not already know this event, um, Yada is holding, uh, at least this is, I think this is the second time that she's holding this event for, uh, for the holidays. Um, I missed the first one, sadly, but I will definitely joining in the second one, and here I am. And we did quite a lot of videos already in the past, so, um, yeah, it's a long journey. Um, I had just decided to show the whole process anyway. <laughs> I first was thinking maybe I will do a little bit bits here and there and then like like working on it um, in, 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 in my own spare time. Uh, but I think maybe it's a little bit more fun to see the whole process. Anyways, um, there is one disclaimer before we're actually going to start this video. There's one disclaimer. I did something um, like not i like i'm so sorry i need to tell you guys something i did something in this creation and i did not record it <laughs> um the the thing is minimoq uh released a new update 2.52 at the moment of recording and um it was i think it was happening in the previous video where i struggled with going online with dreams well that was because me the was releasing a uh, <laughs> an update so i had to i was like offline and so what happened is that i had to save it of course locally on my playstation and like normally i don't really do that normally i like always save it like uh on, on their server so to keep my space uh as clean as possible because well you only have one gigabyte and even if you have not like restored anything on my on your playstation you're still using a 200 mb already uh i don't know and every time it gets bigger and bigger and bigger so there's like a hidden file getting bigger and bigger, bigger uh, each time <laughs> maybe it's it's like i don't know what what is going on but <laughs> um so I, I already uh used 200 mb from the one gigabyte that you have um like basically like from uh the storage uh, I wish they would increase this, but I think it's technically not really possible and um, cause maybe some issues. I think I heard something like that from Minimal you saying that. Um, but <clears throat> but yeah, <laughs> so uh, I always release stuff on online uh, normally to to keep it clean um, at least. And and by releasing online, I mean like private. Uh, if if like an creation is not ready yet to be pub published, uh, I like like. Um, save it local of uh, save it sorry or uh, save it online on the service as private but um sorry for this going to be a long intro you can skip ahead if you don't want to listen to this uh, i will make a time timestamp so uh, don't worry about it um <laughs> but what happened was is um, uh, for it, it's in the end it's for the better but what happened was it's um the new update basically made my whole game, my whole my whole scene, um, five FPS running. So, <laughs> so I was like, I was going back in the game after I did the update. I updated the game and I went back to this creation and I was running the creation five FPS. Now it could be also a bug, but I think it actually is because there were a really lot of like text gadgets going around. Uh, going on in the scene. Um, I know that PlayStation 4 probably cannot handle um, like the, the the text the text gadget as much as if you are on PlayStation 5, you don't have the issue. I already saw someone playing one of my creations that I use text gadgets, and in my creation, at a certain point when you go closer to the um, the text gadget or basically like the um, the sticker mode uh, version of the text gadget. Um, on my side on my playstation 4 i have a huge stutter and the person that like was watching my creation and uh, they have a playstation 5 and it runs very smoothly so probably the updates that minimal q are making and this is maybe a little bit of a scoop that i'm doing right here but i think that the updates are already being done on the playstation 5 you hit you heard it here first but guys you <laughs> you hit it here first because every update they are doing right now 
it makes my PlayStation 4 version of Dream slower and slower and slower. So that probably means that they are already coding it on a PlayStation 5 dev kit. Um, so I'm not sure. This is not like... I'm not saying this is the truth, but it, it's... I'm getting a little bit suspicious right now because, like, it's another update and it really decreased my uh, performance on my PlayStation 4. Um, so what I had to do, I had to clean up a lot of text gadgets and it now runs a little bit smoother. Luckily, it's not going to be in game version. Um... <laughs> but uh, it runs a little bit better. It's still not great, but I'm going to use it as a showcase anyway. So the person that's going to uh, that the discretion for the person is meant to. It's it's just a showcase, and probably going to have a camera, maybe going slowly through these hallways, and maybe some camera points that you can click on, and maybe I'll make a menu or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to make it more of like a showcase, a little bit of like Jekta style, a little bit in it, Jekta sauce basically. That sounds so weird, by the way. But <laughs> but what I mean is just that um, you're not going to walk around in anyways. Um, it was a little bit of a bummer. Um, so that's what I have been doing outside uh, of recording. Because like, I don't want to spend one hour showing you, like, disable, like, deleting all the text gadgets, make it more needy and tidy and stuff like that. I don't want to bore you guys with that. So I'm, I rather want to spend, like, seven minutes on the intro <laughs> than doing uh, 50 minutes of, like, uh, when you're looking at me, uh, troubleshooting, uh, deleting text gadgets. It was quite a lot. Um, should have thought about it in the beginning, to be honest. I mean, like, it's in the end, it's, like, it's, it's a good thing anyway, because, like, um, having to get rid of the, all the text gadgets is a good thing. So um, I'm not really that bored that much, but it was a little bit of, like... Wait a minute, I think they're already coding on the PlayStation 5 dev kit with dreams. <laughs> All right, um, so let's go with the community event. Let's start. Sorry for the long intro, but I really need to tell this this as in disclaimer. So, um, yeah, so you know what I did. So what did we do last time? We did. Oh, there's one more thing that I need to do, need to talk about that I changed. Um, it's the wall itself, but I will, I will, I will show you. Um, <clears throat> so this is what we did so far, right? This is, we made the hall and, uh, we did the lights and we made the, the, the pipes. And I think I'm going to design the pipes a little bit different. I already have an idea of how am I going to do this. Um, <clears throat> this person, this dreamer, it's a favorite color is yellow. Now this whole creation is white and red, right? <laughs> Uh, but that's because like it's in the original version of the game, so it would be weird if I change that. So I had an idea to keep still the color red. Uh, sorry, to keep still, yeah, well, to keep still the color red, but to also to add the favorite color of the person, and that's yellow. And I had a really cool idea of this. What if we make like cables uh, on the ceiling? Um, one is a red cable that goes to. I know to one hole and one is a yellow cable that goes to that uh to the doorway to the g79 one um because that's in the end where you have to go right that's in the end where i'm going to show um the camera to it and then it goes open and who knows if i have time left i will do um sculpt another thing in there or behind there <laughs> um that's of course reference to uh to this person's creations uh, or through this game basically that that they made um so that was what i was thinking so so to keep still maybe the yellow as an line basically as, as like an, a main line and normally it's like a red line is always the main line but now it is like the yellow line is going to be the main line um, and that will lead to um to go through the um, to the door so um that was my idea to like to also implement the color yellow um in here um, but I s couldn't really do it with with the walls because the walls are, yeah, just like this in the original game. <laughs> so it would be weird if I changed that color suddenly, uh, which I could, of course, but I kind of want to respect the original, um, the OG game. Um, all right, so I, I placed the camera inside to show you a little like perspective. I always like to do that. Um, but there's another thing that I want to discuss that I did not record 
Um, I cleaned up a lot of text gadgets, so it's it's smoother. It's a lot smoother again, by the way. Like when I was like open this creation, it was not this smooth. <laughs> it was like it was running at five FPS. I'm not kidding you. It was five FPS after that update I installed. It destroyed this creation. It's a little bit sad, but on the other hand, I think it was needed for me. So I could like clean up a lot of the stuff in here and the walls. So what I did with the walls as well, um, I was already happy with the outcome of how the walls are were looking. So I'm still use text gadgets and they are not like placed inside the wall anymore, but they are outside. Uh, so I can still like, um, like tweak it. Of course they are grouped together, but as you can see, I made one big plane instead of multiple ones at each um wall that was a lot of a lot of text gadgets unnecessary um i'm going to clean up i didn't really clean up but i'm going to clean up this part as well a little bit um as you can see we have here a little bit more um a little bit more like frame dropping here happening um and that is mostly because um of these windows also have like some text gadgets around it. Not the whole wall. I did that with one um, with one text displayer. Um, probably only need to um, tweak this a little bit better. So it needs to be closer to the wall. There we go. I forgot to do that. Um, because we're going to get with the camera around it. Um, that's what we're going to do. Um, and if you get too close, otherwise it get like disappeared the wall. So we don't want to have that happen. But this is, I didn't really do much overall in the whole creation besides uh, cleaning up the text gadgets and uh, changing the wall texture. That's what I only, that's, that's the only thing what I did. Um, and change the, um, also the floor texture as well, the same way because like each floor tile um, had its own text gadget. Um, didn't really like it. Oh, and there's one thing I did. Um, <laughs> uh, I did not record, and that's like these things here. Um, because like I thought this was nice to have like a little step way on it to make a uh, different part sections of these hallways. That's 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 it. That's really it. Um, nothing more. <laughs> all right. So in this video, we're going sorry for this all talk. Um, I hope it's not too boring. But for, in this video, we're going to um, we're going to already maybe a little bit in a polish mode, and what I mean is that we're going to add more detail. But before we're going to add more detail, we're going to add um, lights. Um, we we don't really have any light going on besides these um, these things here, glowing every uh, half of a second, or like I think it's every second around every second. Um, so. And like, like there's always an original game, that, but we don't really have any light besides the light outside coming from uh, the world um, Gizmo itself, right? The world uh, Skybox. Uh, of course, we changed that uh, as well, the values. I'm probably going to change and tweak a little bit here and there. Um, but what I'm going to do, and uh, this is something that I have not really been doing in any of my creations so far yet. Because this is a quite new update. <laughs> um, so we're going to use a new update that they did um, a few months ago. It's, it's already a few months old already. Time flies. Um, but what I'm talking about, let me do it in grid. That's maybe a little bit easier to do this. It doesn't have to be. So I'm going to make um, something like this. Um, yeah, something like that. And you're probably going to wait. Why I'm going to make? Why are you drawing a um, a flag, right? Now, what we can do with the flag, we can make it glow. We can make it glow like this. And I'm going to make it white light because I want to make it white light. Uh, I'm not going to make it super white. I'm just going to make it a little bit, a little bit down more to the more gray white, but not too gray. Um, maybe it's already a little bit too bright. Let me say 30% would be nice. And look at the difference already of the hallway, right? Like, for real, look at the difference between this or this. That's the difference, right? You can see that, like, it's now actually, like, looks like it's illumined the light already. Now, it's not perfect. So, we're going to tweak a little bit around. So, what I'm going to do, um, Probably we need it like something like this. And we need one on the other side as well. 
Um, so we're going to clone this and have it over there. So, but you don't want to have this visible at all in the game, right? Or like in this case, in the scene. So we're going to select these two things and we can make it one merge painting. We're not going, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to um, opacity to zero. But yes, the thing is going to like also go away. But now we can say emit light from glow always and that is one of the new updates that Minimog you did well in uh, a few months ago but <laughs> but i haven't really implemented this into my recent games yet and look how a difference this feels and um that's what we're going to do so we're going to like tidy up a little bit of like the um yeah well the the overall um reflection and the overall color the overall lighting so that's what this video is all about and if we have some time left we can already start doing some sculpting again now i probably need to tweak maybe the sun gadget here and there to, yeah, to tweak it uh, so to say uh to make it a little bit better um now uh oh yeah that is right i don't i can't really remember much i think it was it was like 25 um and did i do this 75 i can't really remember <laughs> i can't remember um uh maybe this hunt or maybe maybe can i could have it all on 95 I need to look at the settings still this, but it's just like a tiny little difference in the settings. All right, so we're going to do it again, but I need to, I need to have my, um, my, uh, flax to serve, uh, visible again. So we're going to make that visible and I'm going to make here as well. Just what we did in the other hallway. Like so, and then clone it to the side. And there you go. Make it invisible again. And as if nothing happens. Now we just like pretend that light actually bounces to the whole hallway, to the room and stuff like that. Now you can maybe argue, maybe it's a little bit too bright or anything like that. But we keep in mind, it's clear as day today. And the sun is like super shining right through this building. And so it, it's really weird if stuff like this is like super dark right because like the sun is illumined into this whole area now you, you could maybe argue maybe does this part is a little bit darker um sure but that means that we can like tweak it so sure so what for example we can say like okay we're just doing this a little bit further away so that the light illumines not fully on the end of the hallway so like maybe a little bit halfway like here so something like that so that the light eventually like slowly fades away so it gets a little bit dark in the end of the hallway right so this is where light cannot reach anymore or because like here it's like barely any light coming still uh from it so um that's an argue um we can tweak a little bit about that. Uh, let me see about the other one here. Um, yeah, we can. What we can do? Uh, oi, 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 oi. Can I expand this still? Probably I can. There we go. It's not really like. Um, wait, can I do this better? Really hard. It's really hard to tell. Like where I left off. Is it here? Yes, it's this one. Yoink. There you go. And I do that with with this one too. There you go. Alright, and then we can say invisible off. Nice. So now the whole room is lit up as it should be. We are we probably going to tweak the sun gadget um, to make it a little bit more needy and tidy with the uh, overall environment. But now I think that the, the light really bounds pretty nice in the rooms. 
And uh, it looks to me great. And the here is a little bit darker. Could be because like it's like it's not like casting the sun here, so that's totally fine to have no uh, light there. And that's the same goes with uh, with here as well. Um, I can maybe think of like do extra light in the ceiling, but like I said, I'd really. Well, okay, there's no really good argument what I'm not going to say. Because like once I like I wanna <laughs> I wanna like um respect the original design, but I am going to like build I already have built them actually, build those pipelines and they those are not in the original design. So I already kind of like <laughs> um did this different. Um but I'm going to do it like um I I'm also going to do this a little bit different. Um what I mean is, is that like, I don't, um, oh, let me see, because I was thinking, I don't want to make it like really weird looking pipelines, uh, but I want to have that the pipeline goes here halfway, makes a U-turn, or not the U-turn, but makes like a turn, uh, like a corner, sorry, not a turn, but like a corner, and then it goes this way, and then like it reaches through this wall, and then like it comes out on the other side, and then one goes this direction, it goes to there, and one goes over there. And here's also a door, I believe. I really should check the game again, because to be honest, I don't think I point my camera to this side. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what is over there. I still need, I think it's also a door, I don't know. I have to see in the, in the original game. Um, but yeah, also, before we actually going to make those pipelines, I was not really happy with this. Like... I, I'm really not happy with it. Um, I'm probably going to, or what I may be thinking of is this, um, just reusing, uh, am I, have to, yeah, I have to crack one, uh, reusing this and then, uh, make it so, I don't know, it's, it's, I was not really happy with the outcome, and I think that this maybe it's it's not in the original game. The original game it has those uh, how you call it those stripes, but I do not really know how to recreate that with text gadgets um, so so quickly. Um, probably will if I do finishing touches on this creation. Maybe I will in the end I have the uh, solution, but <laughs> but so far I don't really know how to recreate this whole thing. I will keep it like this. Like I said, I try to like keep respect to the original creation, but I'm also giving my own uh, touch to it um, because, like, we our, my intention is to how would this game look like if it had a remake or something like that. <laughs> um, so that's what my intention is. Um, I think we can build the cables already. So let's build cables. Fun. Not really, but <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do with cables? Um, well, with cables, I'm going to make it um, different versions. So I'm going to make a straight one, so we can like use that to only go straight. I will make a corner version, and maybe I'm also going to make um, uh, one that goes up somewhere or something like that. So I have like different variations to the cable. That we can use so i can connect them really quickly so i need to use grids grid for this so we can easily connect them all together um i'm going to use subland and i will show you why and and hole no not a hole inside well technically cables do have a hole inside because they need <laughs> um all right um yeah wait a minute let me smaller this um, because of course there's a way. I'm not really sure how. I'm not really sure how big I'm going to make those cables. Um, this looks the good size. I don't know. So we're going to clone this, and yes. So we first we're going to make um, a straight one. Tip 
like so. That's our straight cable version. And now what we can do, it's, um, what happens if we clone? Um, well, I can maybe do it in one sculpt, actually. And we got to make already the corner here. So. Uh, I need to make sure, like so. I don't want to make that the cable look certainly, uh, maybe a little bit more so like it's directing in the, in the right direction again. Like so. Okay, so we have a corner now, corner cable. It's not so yeah, it's not really perfect. Uh, wait a minute, can, maybe we can do this a little bit better. Don't want to cut the corners here. Uh, like so. That's better. Now it has a perfect corner. All right, and um, so we can cut this down. So we're going to cut this. Uh, like so. I'm not really sure if it's smart to do it like this. But basically, oh wait, I am stupid. Um, we need... Another cut, um, cut out or crop, cut. Um, so we're going to cut out the corner here first, or maybe only the corner. Actually, still there. There you go. So now we have like different sculptures. It will rise up a um, graphic one or two, probably one. But now we can like connect uh, things, hopefully good together. So we can now maybe go to this direction. Well, maybe not. Can we? Okay. Um, I need to see what the best best way because this corner here is not really on grid anymore. So let me redo this. Uh, let me see if we can actually make it that it's on grid. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, let me do that again. Uh, we need to make sure it's it's on, on grid. So we can easily... Um, use it. Am I in the same height? Yes. Okay, this should... Is this, uh... Maybe I can, like, go a little bit further. Uh... I don't want to make it like look like it's getting smaller or thicker or uh, with the issue with doing it like this but all right um let's see how this goes now so if we cut this down out like so can we now put this yes we can but now it's on grid so i can still use like one-on-one -on -one grid and we can use this as cable management <laughs> because that's what we're going to do so now i can make like corners really quickly um which is super nice the only thing that we need to do is paint it of course um so we have to do it already paint in the right uh, in the right way um so let me do that first before we're going to cut it out there we go 
Um, so let's paint. And um, I think that the, the standard cables um, should be uh, black. And then we're going to... Uh, maybe I will make it a little bit gray, to be honest. Like so. Oh, but they... Um, we're going to make it look like it's more like cables anyway. There you go. They are, well, a little bit, not a little bit metal, but not too much. 10, I would say, shiny, maybe 45, not too much. Don't want to make it too obvious. Um, oh, you, you can really see it's made out of those orb things. Um, are we, can we get rid of that? Oh, if we lower the quality a little bit. Uh, you can still see it. Uh, yeah, I'm not liking it. <laughs> um, maybe I can... Think of something. Ah, oh, you're... Oh, you're not going to see it that much. Especially like, if we are in camera mode. Um, you're not going to tell or see it much. No, you're not going to see it. Um, so that's, that's not an issue then. Um, but we need to have some holders. Um, for the cable. And we do that, I think, best maybe with, uh... Curve tool, I don't know, or maybe also with the same way how we did the cables. Uh, let me do this away in the right color. Um, I can also make it like, yeah. Um, hmm. I can also use it with with a cylinder, but the problem with the cylinder is you cannot make corners. You can make corners with curve tool, but I'm not really a big fan of curve tool. Um, I don't know, but I will, let me see how this goes and we can always change it to something else. Um, so I'm just going to make holders. And I'll show you what I mean with that. Um, do we have it in the right mirror way? No. Oh, no, we don't. Um, oh, I should I should have thought about that first, to be honest. Um, oh, well. <laughs> I will do it uh, out of my hat. I will out of my hat. Like... Uh, like so... Doesn't have to be like, too far, because we got we're going to make it probably like closer to the um to the to the ceiling anyway. But at least giving myself a little bit more room to do this, um, like and then like place it. Like so. Uh, oh, I don't really like the. Um. Uh, maybe. Wait a minute. Maybe. I'm going to try to do it with the curve tool. Because then I have a little bit of like after edit things a little bit better. Let's see. Let's see how far we can get with the curve tool. Because it would be nice if we can just like... Um, move it around. Easily, if, if I'm not really liking the position and... Oh yeah. Um, this needs to be way smaller. Okay. 
Left on top. I can also make it one sculpt or like uh, a new sculpt. I mean, um, it's absolutely a possibility. Okay. The thing is with like with curve tools, like once you've placed it, you cannot, you cannot edit anymore. That's why I'm already a big fan of it. <laughs> um, I must say it is looks a lot cleaner. It's a tiny detail. I have to be. Uh, I, I have to agree. You're probably not going to, uh, to see it, but now we can just like clone this and place it on the other side. Come on. There you go. So only what I have to do right now. If I like this, I think I kind of like it. I can think I kind of liking it. The only what I need to do now is just clone these. And you can already do this, of course, with um, if you made it out of all circles. Uh, oh, wait, what? Did I? Oh, <laughs> I like uh, I accidentally kept the. Um... Oh, wait, but that means. No! Why didn't I not saw that before? Oh, Jackta, you're so silly. Uh, at least he uh, memorized the shape still that I did, so that's at least good. Uh, and that means I can maybe fine-tune it a little bit better as well. Now that we're doing it anyway... Uh, let me see. Du, 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 du. Okay. Stamp. It should not be a mirror mode. No. Great. And... Clone this. To the other side. There you go. Nice. And this one goes up. Something like this. So it needs to be like very close to the ceiling. All right. Uh, and then we need to delete that one. And now we're going to clone it. One over here. And this one we're going to double duplicate. Like so. Nice. I think maybe... We need one more here in between. Like here or so. Perfect. Have it, have it, as if it was made for this. Um, <clears throat> right. I probably need to like, um, because, like how it's going to look like eventually when we cut it. Oh, right. That's something I did not really thought about. Um, because we also need to cut it, of course. So let me put it like here. Um, I really didn't thought of that, to be honest. And then delete that one. And I will show you what I mean uh, a little bit later. What I mean with... We also need to cut, eventually. So what I mean is... We also need, of course, the cut part. So if we're going to connect this eventually again... It needs to make sense that... Like where it starts again and I think I think that is all right the 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 space position in between yes that's totally fine um all right so we did I think I'm going to increase the graphics a little bit again um yeah we, we're probably going to see those weird wobbly things so no um, I am considering <laughs> to make the cables again. I am considering to do that. Because, like, if we increase the graphics, which I kind of want to do it, because, like, it's a showcase anyway, it's not a game. 
And I kind of want to make it look like it's super well looking. Um, even though, are we seeing it from the camera perspective? Yeah, well, no, not really. <laughs> well, that's real like we have an FOV um, blur on it. So maybe you don't really need to touch it as much. No, we probably don't need to touch it. Um, all right, I will keep it for now. Probably going to maybe tweak it eventually. As long as like, we have this. Oh. Um, this still here. To close it down. I don't know why it's not. Oh, did I change the grid? Of course I did. The grid. I did do that. Uh, uh, on what grid size was this? One on eight? Oh, I didn't do it straight, didn't I? Um. Yeah. Okay, well, it is just for a secret Santa, so I'm not going to bother. I, I, not that I want to deliver half jobs or anything like that, but I'm not going to bother at it. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh. Do, 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 do. Like so. And. Do, 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 do. I can delete this one. Do, 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 do. You're not. You're not seeing it. You're not. You're not going to see this detail here. All right. Uh, that like is a little bit like look max messy. Okay, that looks good to me. Um. Now the only thing is, like for example, what I was talking about earlier. If you want to have like a yellow, like, um. A yellow one, a yellow line, we can do it like this. But I'm probably going to like paint it um only the, the pipe itself and not like the everything in it. Uh Okay. Paint. That's what we need to do. Paint. And then no grid snap, but we do need service snap for this. Um, I am going to use... What are we going to use? Um, okay. Um, I think maybe the wedge technique would be a good one to do. The whole inside is a little bit so blandy. Make it super tiny. And stretch it out. If I can do it, come on. Come on, latch. There you go. Um, um, opacity as low as possible. Uh, maybe we can spin it around a little bit. Like I want to do it like randomly. Scratches. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do the other side as well. A little bit random. There we go. And a little bit in the corner. And also in this corner here. Cannot forget that. Alright. So now it looks a little bit like dirty pipeline, or it's not really in pipeline. I know it's like cables going on here. Um There's a, only however not really like causing good shadow here. Um but we can maybe um fake it. <laughs> I can maybe fake shadow there, but 
Um, probably going to do it. I feel like Dreams is not really great with handling that. Um, it's also because like we added some on these things here. So is that going to do a little bit better job? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. We, what we can maybe do is lower the, um, the glow a little bit here. Let's say 15%. So we still have... Does it, yeah, so we still have light coming in here, but like the, I don't want to have that the pipe is too, or like the, the cables are too visible. It's it's a prop, not a feature, right? <laughs> so it should not be like outstanding there. It's, it should be part of the whole creation and not like the center of the creation. So we don't want to make it too obvious. All right. Um, I think I'm going to leave it like this. Now we're going to cut it out. Um, and if we did this right, uh, cut out. And if we did it right, and I hope I did, <laughs> we can now build easily. Okay, so we, we cut that out. So now I can like connect different cables on the same grid, hopefully. I mean, it should be. Well, it's it needs it needs some. Uh, I see it's not really really on grid. Um. I can maybe manually fix this. This is a little bit, this is a little bit cheating what I'm doing here right now. Uh, let me also not do a side move, but that's like really manually doing it. Let's see if I. I only have to repaint it, but it's a solution. <laughs> it is a solution. It's like now every time when we connect these cables, it fits. Right? Even though there's a little bit of bubble here. Don't want to have that. Okay, let's paint it again. Um, in the right color, of course. Where's my... Oh! Oh, okay. I was like, where's my painting uh, thing? But it was already super big. Um... Do it uh, like this here. Okay. There. Fixed it. Okay. Go back to uh, this. So now. This is the cool part. Now we can connect all these cables. And guide them wherever we want. Right. And if we're doing it like this. It should fit all together. But I'm going to make different uh, versions of it. Um, so what that means is that, like I said what in the beginning of the video, we're going to make different cables leading to different, uh, to different ways. Um, and there's like a red cable. A black cable and a yellow cable. And the yellow cable is, of course, the one that's leading to the door. Not that door, but that one over there where it say G79. That's I don't really know what's what's behind here. So we really need to 
revisit the creation. Um, sadly. Well, not sadly, but I really need to revisit it. Um, but that's what it is. Um, right. Okay. And we can do now some cable work over here as well. Oh, that was not the right. Let me first do this in group. I can always edit this faster. Okay. Group together. And now I'm going to be inside this group. And okay, so I was thinking so the goes the cables goes in here. And then there's another one that like it's cornered. So for example, not like this. But more like so. Or maybe the other way around. I don't know. Maybe the other way around is better. Uh, let me turn on the... Let's see. I guess I can see what I'm doing. Like so. So that, and then like it's also leading to over there. There you go. And that fits perfectly inside there. Need to do this here. What am I doing right now? Oh! Am I cloning the whole sculpture? Yes, I did. <laughs> I thought I was inside the sculpt, but I was not. Makes sense. I was like, why is that why is the, the cable so long? <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. Okay, so those two cables. Yeah, we need to tweak it a little bit so it makes more sense. I don't know. I know I was like inside the sculpture. Not inside the sculpture. Uh. Da, 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 da. It's a little bit of trial and error with this one here and see what works and what does not work. Is that the position? Oh, or is that the position? Uh, oh, I think this is. Yeah, and then there's like center. I don't know. It's, I have a feeling it's off center, but it could be. Optical illusion. Um, but, and there's also one cable. Um, so, and then there's going like a yellow cable. So there's like one over here. And I'm going to paint this yellow. Or right, let's do our food do first uh, the, the red one. Uh, like so. Like, I'm only going to touch the... Um, it will rise up graphics thermo. That's uh, in in inevitable. Um, but yeah. I'm going to try not to touch those... Things around the cables. 
Like those things that are holding stuff together. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. And then I'm also making a yellow one, so that will also increase. I can also like change the um, the color UI. Um, maybe it's a better idea to be honest. <laughs> but that means that if you do that, that means that like these little grab things also go with it. So um, I cannot do that. And it's one sculpt. I can of course like make them separate in the separate sculpt but i don't like to do that i like to sculpt most of it in one scope to save me gameplay term up that's why jack is doing that probably need to repaint it over again or some darker spots. Do 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 do. do, 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 do. Doop, doop, doop. That I'm touching a little bit of those things is not like uh, super bad or I think it's mostly dark. <laughs> You're not seeing that so much. Trying to speed up a little bit on the process. And the last part. Make it a little bigger. Because I'm lazy. And then I have to like use some. Uh... Don't have to be perfect rat, of course. Because you want to make it rusty looking. Like these cables need to be there for a very long time. Uh, need to change this here. Chip, 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 chink. Okay. Let's see how that looks with lights. All on. Uh, well, so far not so much. <laughs> Let's see a little bit indoors. Oh, I'm, a do I'm a doing it again. I was not in group. Okay. Yeah, the problem is like it's super dark, so you're not really going to notice it. Um. So that means <laughs> that probably means that we need to add a little bit more lighting on these. Uh, On these things here, I will, I will, I will maybe go into um, let me see, maybe, maybe thirty percent. And now we can see the perfect line going on here. Yes, that's better. That's better, 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 better. All right, I think I'm going to leave it for here. Uh, so you already have an hour in. Sorry, that was like a little bit maybe a weirder video or anything like that because like I had to like explain a few things that what I did outside of recording. Um, I really hope that you're enjoying the series so far with me together, and uh, hopefully we can make this a very cool scene and remake of uh, someone else. Uh, not a remake, but like a remake section um, um, of someone else's game. And this is for the community event by Yade. Uh, Yade. Um, and uh, I'm having a blast so far. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next video. And as always, see you next time.
And don't forget to dream, everybody. Bye-bye.